Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you something special. What you see here is me playing with my uh, EF5 Tornado build. You can check out my channel. It's insane. But today something happened. The mushroom actually bugged on me. I'm always this one with actually when the mushroom is uh, working and I'm just deleting enemies like they are nothing. Now, uh, I also use, uh, by the way, um, Iron Amulet. Um, if I play, uh, for example, uh, 24 or 25, you need this. If you ask me why you need this, you're very tanky. No, you need this uh, at higher. Of course, if you play less, uh, 21, 22, 23, you, have, uh, you can do without this. But still, I'm going to use it. Um, and it just deletes everything because it's so, so fast uh, with a mushroom. It's just so fast. I just delete everything. And you see millions of damage in a split of a second. Forget about second. In a split of a second, millions of damage. It's insane. In a second, oh my god, this is crazy. Nothing can actually pass for me. Nothing. But at some point, it actually bugged. As you can see here, it's actually bugged. It's not active. And it's bugged. I can't actually use it right now. But I'm using the Renegade Armor. And the Renegade Armor has plus 25% attack speed. Now, I'm without a mushroom. And I realize... Wait a second. Actually, of course, it's not the same as when I activate the mushroom, uh, but uh, by the way, some told me, no, it's not work. It, mushroom increases the speed, definitely. Uh, so now it's not working, and of course, it takes more time. I'm not deleting enemies, but I'm, I'm, I'm eliminating very fast. But still, I was able to do it. Forget about gong, no gong, no, not even mushroom. And it was so easy. And if you don't know, I'm using Reckless uh, in this one. Uh, and the uh, three gilded items. Uh, I'm going to show it to you in a moment, uh, just briefly. But if you want to see more of this, check out my channel. You're going to find out about uh, my EF5 tornado build. It's just insane. So it's so satisfying because it's just whew, 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 you just delete enemies. But here it was different because I haven't, I didn't have the mushroom. So I told myself, wait a second, I can actually do this so well without the mushroom. So maybe I'm going to put other things there. It's so powerful that even without the gong and the mushroom, I'm doing amazingly well. Just imagine this. Alright, so the Renegade actually uh, allows me to do very well, lots of damage, without actually needing the mushroom. Seriously, I mean, proven, tested, tested at highest difficulty uh, ancient hunts. Alright, from 21 up. It's just seriously powerful. And you know, when you create a build with this and the build works, you can actually even drop mushroom and the gong all together. Just imagine what happens if you use the gong and the mushroom, yeah? Right? It's crazy. Right? It's not even like. It's not even. It is too fast even for how fast you can actually eliminate enemies. So we are not using mushroom, just relying on the attack, extra attack speed that I get from the Renegade. And it's still very, very, very fast. Yeah, with the mushroom, you need to understand. They just gonna, I'm just gonna touch them and I'm gonna delete them. Yeah, D just like that. And of course, I play half of the level like this, half of the level without, and I definitely, of course, felt the difference. But again, I could do this, these tons of damage because of the reckless, because of the build, and it was so, so satisfying. No mushroom. Now the thing is that I know many of you use. I use mushroom all the time. I was in fighters binding, right? I use mushroom all the time. But yeah, but now. I'm thinking about maybe I'm gonna kind of create a more exotic build if I can actually do so well with that. Although the mushroom between us, when you use the mushroom, it's like whew, you don't even hear the gaps with him. It's just so fast. And I know this is a debate whether it works with the Renegade. It works. I, it works. I don't know. People show me numbers. I tested the numbers, tested the timer. Uh, I'm just. And I see the difference when I play. It's a big difference. I know. <laughs> it's a big difference. It's like deleting enemies with just looking at them. Then, you know, kind of a dealing damage to them and deleting them and eliminating them fast. Anyway, uh, leaving this subject aside, again, I, I put it aside, uh, was just amazing. Everything was just so easy, even without the mushroom. I was kind of shocked, to be honest. So, so easy. Here, I'm just doing the cow, as you can see. Again, without the mushroom, just to support my renegade for the, you know, fast and just amazing. Wow. Wow. So, what should I put there? Seriously, there's a place where you can actually... I'm not saying that I won't use mushroom, uh, but I'm saying maybe I'm going to change it. From time to time, I'm going to try to mix things up. Maybe put something kind of more interesting in, inside. Kind of more... I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, all right. So for the build, actually, if you are interested to see based on what you see here, 
uh, what I'm actually using. So I'm going to share with this uh, right now, so you can maybe uh, you know uh, create this build yourself. It's so powerful, it's insane, right? It's insanely powerful. You're just so powerful, and you move so fast and just delete everything on your way. And what you see the other the half part of this video, by the way, was without the the mushroom. All right. Um, so okay, let me show you the build. All right, the build. So this is the build. I'm going to go quickly over it. I've made in the video. You can check out the tornado build on my channel. But I'm going to go quickly, relatively quickly. <laughs> so basically, I'm using Ren Renegade Armor, which has plus 20 melee attack speed. So basically, you, as you can see, even though that half of the level I was kind of slower when I attack because I dropped the mushroom, right? Uh, I was still doing amazingly good. So you can actually replace that if you like and play with other kind of synergies and, and things, right? Um, damage reduction again um and uh the extra damage boost you see damage boost with with uh, by the way before we go with the with reckless deflect enemy projectiles all right three level three so we are protected most of the time against archers this is great reckless this is the holy grail i think of this dlc entirely i think this is the most interesting enchantment in the entire dlc you just need to make sure to find out a way to make it work and i found a way to make it work that's why this build is kind of got this build this is insane so basically you lose minus 60 percent of your health this is a big chunk trust me no no they created the level so you need this high hp in order to survive so they take 60 percent it's like you are going how many levels down and but but there's a but we need to get less damage so we have the damage reduction all right but when we eliminate enemies faster remember this remember this when you eliminate enemies faster you're gonna deal less damage especially if they you delete them almost by just touching them right so this is important thing to remember people just fight and they say how oh, much with minus 60 percent how can i survive they're going to do so much they don't understand maybe they didn't try that when you play with this and uh, with so much damage you just delete enemies you eliminate them so fast so they don't have a chance to do so much damage especially with the initiation which is part of this build i'm going to show you with the bow but I, where i actually jump on enemies and pull them in and enemies if you see enemies they've kind of one second before they activate something when they see you right everybody has its own abilities so when i initiate a jump from relatively uh, you know, from a distance towards the enemy and I pull them in and i start fighting with them they don't even start activating their things and when there are many enemies you know it can be a lot of things there right so this initiation actually prevent them from actually so we don't even get the start of whatever they wanted to start in many cases all right in some cases you do but in other cases you don't all right so you need to understand all this this build you know you need to really play with this to understand how powerful it is and it's kind of a different mindset of gameplay but it works amazingly well so i'm variety pulls to pull enemies in this is vacuum cleaner tornado i call it because it just put everybody i need to always radiant right radiant and clear enemies i don't want to go to this one to this one to the other one you know run after them no i don't want to pull them in come baby come to my space let's have fun together and that's the idea and potion barrier all right this one is uh, when i roll by the way I, by the way i haven't decided what to use here i was thinking about uh, using um wild rage so when i'm actually rolling i can actually cause other to rage which is nice less damage also this is cool uh, this allows me to pull enemies in towards me this is the initiator you need to understand you need to play with this to understand once i'm actually rolling i'm pulling in enemies towards me so they don't even you know and it's actually kind of a cause them to kind of a brief stun in a way when you do this all right uh so when you do this you just even enemies they're kind of a bit far from you when you jump on them uh, and pull them in uh you're going to prevent them from using some of their abilities because they you know you just and you just delete them when they get you touch them because immediately because of the fighter's bindings uh, uh gravity is going to immediately pull them towards your weapon right you don't need to search for them or go through the r1 tap the other one no it's going to automatically pull them into the weapon and this way you get so much faster damage to enemies all of this combined leads to not a theoretical high dps because when you play the game it really depends how the synergy is so the actual dps when you play in the game with all the different things that are going on you're going to get much higher dps and not just dps multi-target dps the ability to eliminate many enemies 
how much time it takes you not just a single target or a boss people just go and fight a boss no most of the time what you do right you just there are many enemies especially now with the ancient time with those cows and everything you need to limit as many enemies as possible as fast as possible that's the whole goal so multi-target dps and the time again to eliminate a group of enemies all right this is important this build was built for this to exactly do this all right to clear things fast just rush with the level very fast and clear everything and again because there's some people just stuck with trying on the doll what they get on the doll or, or what they get on the boss forget about what the most important thing is the multi-target dps and ability to clear them at fast so this was designed for this this initiate this one initiate allowed to initiate uh and move fast and really before enemies even try to attack the bull for example does with the lag or the one that spawned the cloud for example or other things there are many other things i just jump into them and don't even let them do this all right uh, even then when they do this at a certain location on, on the, a, sec a split of a second later I'm going to be on them not in the location when they actually activated the ability there are many things happening right but this one deals with this all right so I'm actually making this very long but if I'm already explaining I will explain so I have also tempo theft when I actually just again I don't need to shoot with this right I'm just rolling keep this in mind I'm not shooting with this I'm shooting by just rolling but I'm not actually kind of a thing taking ball and shoot so I get tempo theft and also have this one. I just rush through the level. So with these stacks with uh with uh, the tempo theft and I get incredible speed and I love this because I'm already limiting any fast, but I don't need to wait and look walk like you know, I walk in the park to the next enemy or you know, spend like I don't know how many minutes you can spend by just walking if you are slow. You just rush to the next group and this is very good, right? Moving from one group to the other, and when you are fast, you can actually the initiation is even better. Because by the time they, you know, there's a kind of a, all right, this, I spot him, you know, at the moment, all right, I spot him. So the moment they spot you, you're already on them and they're dead, right? M many cases. All right. Um, and by the way, I, I tried many different armors. This was just perfect. I tried many different ones. The Eros armor, the, the full metal armor, I tried different things. Um, and this one, actually, the idea to actually drop the mushroom is really kind of uh, interesting. I haven't spent a lot of time trying replacing this. But when I tried it, it was bugged for me. It was interesting. All right. Uh, so in Iron Add Amulet, again, you said in the comment section uh, that, uh, you know, in the other video, you're very tanky. No, you are not very tanky. I mean, you are relatively to the health that you have because this really makes you kind of a more resilient to damage. And this is the highest that I got. And you can see here, I can actually spam it. Why? Because I have only gap of... Uh, 3.8 seconds here right so most of the time i can have this protection on me which is great but again depends on the level if you play uh, 25 24 right you're gonna need to use it lower than this we're 21 22 23 you don't you don't actually need it to be even good without this but still i love having this all right um again so of course if you're lower level where you're so powerful you don't need protection because you're just gonna delete enemies anyway but again when you're kind of playing like higher 25 24 uh you're gonna need it all right and i tested it so i'm telling you <laughs> uh again you can try of course uh, if you get uh, kind of something similar to this build you can do this yeah so this is the build all right again as i told you there are many things here the important thing that i paying attention to the little things right for example if enemies rush towards me uh, like exploder i can just move back but by moving back i'm actually pushing the the explorer towards me dealing damage and then turning around and eliminating him sometimes i eliminate explorers by just again just uh jumping back and i i release arrows or maybe just jumping forward towards them so kind of close the gap before they're able to kind of tick you know the, everything has come with timer when they activate for example the explorers when they are close to you they're gonna one two three boom right so if i close the gap on them very fast they don't even get the chance to splash even a second and ju they're just wiped right so all these things the time it takes enemies to initiate their abilities and again this is the initiator this is why this bow is so important for me all right uh, maybe you can shoot with other one but i haven't found maybe there is but this just works beautifully to pull in enemy just amazing and give me speed extra speed again to move in and just s great synergy yeah i'm gonna cut here because again this there are lots of things there are many other things that i haven't mentioned by the way because i can talk because there's so many things when i do in the level you know when i play that actually um kind of um 
you know, just work. There's so many situations in the game where some build fits, others don't. This one fits so many situations. I can just pull enemies towards an empty, you know, kind of a hole. If they are, for example, one side, I can just jump from the other side. Anyway, each of us actually in the other side of the hole, and I can pull them and push them inside and just dead. I can use the bow even just to shoot from far away, manually, right? Not be jumping to pull enemies in. Right, if there's an enemy, I can actually pull them in towards me. If I don't want to eat the other ones, I can pull them in, or could even pull them in into a hole to just die. I do this many times in many situations. There are lots of kind of situations like this, where this build is so versatile. This allows you to really have really have fun. Not just you know, it's very powerful. Also have fun with this. Yeah. So this is my E5 tornado. I think I've explained to this like more than I explained in the previous video. But again, this is the build. So again, thanks for watching everyone. Again, if you have some insight, of course, let me know. Maybe you think you can improve it. Maybe now that you know that I can replace this, let me know what I can put here, something interesting, right? I'm trusting in your experience as well to kind of share with me what you learn from the game and I, I can learn from this as well. So again, thanks everybody. I'm gonna see you very soon on the next video. Cheers, bye-bye.